Welcome to Nollywood, a mystical and dangerous place where your deepest thoughts and dreams comes alive. This is a place where a con artist hires a young lady to assist him in marrying a wealthy woman and this spirals into a dangerous game of Oh! Oh, you, you thought that was the plan, eh? Watch how I am about to switch up the whole movie on you guys. With a lot of manipulations and vendettas that will leave you begging for more, the twists and turns are so much that at a point, you stop and go like, oh. That, wait, wait. Oh, is that what they were trying to do? I totally understand it now. This movie is not hard again. Miko, come and explain this movie for me, please. In a movie that I have obviously not seen because I don't have Netflix, called Naked Weapon. You guys thought I would call it Money Heist. Watch a movie that was set 27 years after the first movie as we follow the life of a struggling Nigerian trying to make it big in Lagos and see how he sacrifices his sanity just for that aim. And for the first time, a Nigerian movie made 80% of its viewers irritating because if you think you can enjoy this movie without a fan saying Oh, do you know you have to watch the first part first? Don't miss this movie titled Ibo's At It Again Part 2 In this realm we follow the life of a privileged young man who gets stuck in an elevator with a not so smart woman and this lady again gives birth to her child on that same elevator This builds up this love and hate relationship as he feels the need to protect her and her child from evil people and this experience here makes him face his greatest demon titled Pregnancy fetish. When we talk about what country portrays the rich life of Africans, Nigeria knows how to do that so well. We follow the life of the Holloway family as they remind us that what is more important is not how well you help people, but how good you look while helping people. A movie that reminds us that not everything you see online is what really happens. Title Instagram. After the Sugar Sisters discover 800,000 US dollars, their life is changed for the better as for the first time again. A movie reminds us of the stupid scenarios we played when we were young, like What if I stumbled upon 5 billion US dollars? On the but the twist of this movie is the money is owned by the most stereotypical criminals you would ever see. Like the evil guy that lacks the ability to speak any sort of English. Also the one that cares more about how she looks and what she wears. And let's not forget the one that you don't know what tribe he's from. And guess what? He has superpowers. Just your normal stereotypical criminals you would find on the road. In this movie titled, Why Did I Not Turn Into A Yam? Explore love, friendship and family politics as a guy who just came from the Obodoibu refuses to go for his NYSE. And watch how NYSE does what it knows best by closing its eyes and selecting the only place you said you did not want to go to. As you see a guy who hated the fact that he went for his youth service finally finds himself in the most unlikely places. In Sugar down south. The recent movies of 2018 and 2019 are so good and it shows how much Nollywood has grown in telling authentic stories. I know a lot of movies miss my radar but you can help me with that actually. Just drop a comment down in the comment section if you want another video like this and yes I have a bonus movie. You know what they say don't mix business with family. Join us as this couple takes that saying and flings it to the wind in a movie titled, obviously, Mr. and Mrs. Smith without the weapons. I be repping for my city though, and I got fans up in Philly though. See, I be born until I feel though. Thank you for listening, guys. Ah, <sighs> 10 minutes, that's the like five minutes. Okay. Alright, Lord, that's about to go. <laughs> Let's see how it goes, man. Let's see how it goes. Ba, 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 ba. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. This is <clears throat> what the hell is that noise? This is where a con artist <clears throat> this <f> <laughs> there's something outside. I have to what is that? Is this big? Come on. Oh god, just close the window now. I'll start from beginning.
because a bed was disturbing. All right, oh, someone messaged me. This is me testing the sound. Um, I'm also playing, what's his name? His name is Jordan Styles. He's who I'm using for my outro. He's very good. Yay! Yay! <laughs> just bloopers, man. Just bloopers. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>